Good morning everyone. In today's video I'm gonna continue to finish uh, all external and internal walls for the first floor that we have here in this villa. So probably it would be a good idea to match property and make the all top wall as uh, the same that we have in you know the south part here. So for now, I need to go to level one, and quickly, uh, I'm just gonna probably just move that uh, copy anyway in here, and then align it with that, as you can see. So this one and this one will be located in the same place. I'm gonna trim that and this. Uh, this is actually a split in here, so that's another slap dunk going out, and uh, probably I need to stop it right here. So I again uh, create similar. Uh, there is a trim here required, and we need a dimension here. And we need to clean that number, which for some reason have no control over that anyway. Yep, better. So let's say uh, 5000 if it's not a big change. Yep, it's not. Now, uh, I don't believe this is existed anymore oh it is there's a window or actually a sliding door here so i'm gonna keep it uh all partitions in here are not except this one i think and this are placed correctly rather what we fix in here so we really need to have a look of what's going on here so another copy of that down and i would rather go make it aligned with with this one so probably we need that to stop in here and the rest are just courts I uh, have no idea what the distance is here but I'm, I bet we fixed that already in the previous video so let me just copy paste that so they're gonna be the same and probably we need to mirror that might be a good choice I'll keep it that way so this and that will be the same uh, make no sense to make them different uh, again I don't know why the architect is actually used those in the beginning SL or slice to cut that wall into two getting this and that together and that expand the whole uh, room here I'm gonna push that partition that I get from the first floor actually and I still got some numbers here so probably 2600 uh, no 500 400 and 410 to make those two rooms equals if I am not wrong ah uh, wasting times this is not being placed so I shouldn't uh, shouldn't actually placed it let me move it getting back to this uh, I don't know make it uh, 450 yep 2.5 for this guy here make it 2 meters and that's it uh, bet something I don't know that how it is oh yeah that's how it is anyway so this guy need to be pushed all the way to the end and probably we need to copy that beautiful I'm gonna mirror that again Yep. 
I'm going to clean those. Uh, should be uh, that should be uh, a setback window. Is a setback window. So this bit and this bit gonna remove when you add the edit profile opening to them. Uh, how about this? I think it's a closing here. Rather, the big difference that we have it's opening in the first floor doors are later to be placed. Those are uh, so up to here. Correct. So again, I'm gonna copy this and uh, I don't know now that's an issue because that's an external side and that's an internal side of it so I need an external facing that way that's crazy isn't it but I'm just gonna ignore it anyway and in reality you need to split that into two let me try to be less lazy you should do that then push that in here. Ah, it's gonna trim itself and fix it. Is there any way not to do the joining? I don't know. I just don't want to waste time on that. No, no. I have no idea now, so I'm just gonna keep it as it is and undo everything. That doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna get back to it anyway. Now let me fix the shape, overall shape. Uh, again, all that should be like a double facade, and those are our setbacks. So I'm gonna copy this, let's say, how much? It's like 800. Um, another 100. Around 900. So a trim is required here. And I will not do that. I don't know what is this. I don't know what is this. Oh, hi, God. I have to do that. Okay, and that's mean it's for some reason he created a setback here. Uh, I don't know if he, he uses it as a cabinet or something behind the bed. It should be goes all the way straight. And anyway, I'm going to do it all the way straight. Not because I'm lazy, but just because, you know, it doesn't make any sense for me. So, I'm going to keep that. I'll probably make it 4,100. And again, I will need this to be the external face because that will be uh, an opening here. And probably I'm going to mirror something like this. And... I'll extend the opening into a one meter. Probably should be less, but I'll keep it one. And that should be opened and the door should be added here. Anyhow, another copy here. Probably making them and aligned uh, where am I actually yep here and 11 so that's 11 so supposed to be yep in this bedroom so I'm just trying to know where to place the file shall I just add that to the inner face I think it's better and again which face uh, that's facing inside and that's facing outside it should be like this and again another mirror probably and I will depend on that line again so doing this and I think there is no line here for some reason it's just like to make the room bigger so shall I just follow the whatever I've done oops sorry whatever I've done in this edge is it yeah this one with this one so probably I'm just gonna ignore that I will uh, let the let this be smaller it's okay and again, this one. Uh, 
keeping those are our references so I'm not going to change them and again have to move this to this point and that to this uh, the distance let's make it 700 probably and we need to mirror that somehow in here selecting it and make it I don't know 1500 yeah good guess probably we need to flip as this will be facing the external that should be opened and that this is just uh, I don't know just be an offset of this yeah almost how much it's 800 I'll keep it 800 to be honest and then trim that external face outside and trim those together and this dude actually need light so that's another recessed window so I'm gonna create here a wall should facing that way and then we should mirror that somehow here and do I have to care where they are anyway so di I'll take do I anyway doesn't make any sense even if you measure them here or measure them horizontally so I'm just gonna keep them I'm just gonna keep them where they whatever they are now for inner uh, partitions it's so far so good it's up to here it's okay that's changed so if I delete that okay so that should also be deleted and another another shaft or whatever this is here yeah. ah, it's make no sense for me anyway uh, create similar and this one here now di I'll just make it uh, 750 try to clear the numbers and then probably we need to split this should be an external wall also I don't know if that shaft should close all as an external and this bit should be goes back I know should be unjoined and again create similar I will go from the inner uh, finish face like this trimming that together one thing that should be this side exterior and I think this side is exterior so that should be sliced and should be like this for some reason again no idea what these but I'm just doing it and that dude should be deleted the partitions the remaining are almost correct except that we need one here following the interface again so finish interior and that's it just drag it to the end as such here and that's it anything here okay so that should be stopped to this point and this partition are no more needed and almost that's it so that's uh, nice uh, let's have a look at the uh, picture maybe we, we missed something I don't think so so it's look nice so far and same technique guys again same techniques that you use to make those openings in here and here you can you know apply it, uh, how it works like how to open uh, a recessed window here and a recessed door here and the same thing you can go ahead and model them by yourself anyway uh, I think that's it for today that's the that's the that's the house or that's the villa so far 
with all uh, the external and the internal walls of the first floor actually finished. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching me and have a good day. Bye-bye.